U.S. <coughs> U.S. Army is like fast food employees or construction workers or um, other shitheads like fast food, bus drivers, taxis. A taxi driver is similar to the U.S. Army. They're gay shitheads. I don't expect U.S. Army or U.S. military to begin with. They're gay shitheads. Fast food employees, similar to the U.S. Army. They talk the same way. Sex with supermodels, he's, uh, he's gay trash. I don't want to listen to gay trash. Shouldn't have to listen to gay trash. Some of these bad to begin with, uh, but age and sexual preference alone. Uh, I, I was uh, misinformed when uh, Jason Williams of the U.S. Army recruited me. Misinformed about the U.S. Army. I didn't know they were a pro-gay organization. Uh, pro-gay rape. I, I had no idea. Uh, U.S. Army, they're higher-ups. Uh, they think when they reach a certain age, they can rape the younger recruits. So the U.S. Army, uh, always raping younger recruits, young males. Uh, it's worse than the Boy Scouts. I, I, was, I did not know anything about the U.S. Army. It was like a scam. Uh, I got scammed by, <clears throat> by my recruiter, Jason Williams. He signed me up. I didn't know they were going to try to gay, uh, gay rape me. In formation, even. They tried to rape me in formation. Um, so I, 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 was, I knew nothing about the U.S. Army when my recruiter signed me up. Um, but U.S. Army, they have the highest number of rapes and the highest number of illegal murders. Very bad organization. Uh, besides that, I graduated all training, uh, basic training, Fort Jackson. Uh, graduated AIT training at Fort Lee, Virginia. I was trying to chapter myself out. I said I didn't want to be a part of your organization, but they wouldn't let me leave. I got really high grades. Uh, sharpshooter badge, uh, 300, perfect 300 score. That means I can do the most, uh, the most physical exercise. Perfect 300 score. Um, led a field battle exercise at AIT in Fort Lee, Virginia. Uh, live rounds and ammunition. Uh, it's like two hour battle exercise. Led a unit against uh, with AR-15s, uh, live rounds, ammunition. Um, what else? Uh, Vice president of the classroom at AIT in Fort Lee, Virginia. So, the uh, leadership in the U.S. Army is old and gay. Uh, age, they can't keep up with younger talent because of age alone. Uh, they have, you know, Michael Jordan, uh, Magic Johnson. Well, if they're, if they're as good as Magic Johnson or Michael Jordan in their prime, Michael Jordan can't keep up with the younger talent now. Michael Jordan can't keep up with the 40-year-olds uh, and the 30-year-olds now because of age. And then, uh, gay. So gay people, they're trying to mess with everything all day. Uh, gay people, they just try to uh, mess around, uh, fuck shit up all day because they're gay. So age and sexual preference, uh, U.S. Army is old and gay. I'm young and I'm straight, so I'm not talking to them. I'm young and straight, U.S. Army is old and gay. Medical discharge because of injuries. Uh, I was in the uh, Chillicothe, Ohio unit, and they just meet two times a month. Uh, they're like gay trash. Fat. They're like a gay trash gas station. Uh, like like the gas station man. It's like the Chillicothe, Ohio unit. I met with them two times a month. This is like Chillicothe, Ohio unit. This is all, and I just chill. I just show up for around 15 hours a week. It's like reporting to a gas station like this and I just sat there for like 15 hours every, every month uh, 15 hours a month reserves unit and then I got two injured I uh, got a herniated disc I have x-rays I couldn't get out of bed because I was I was training too hard in the gym and uh, I slipped my disc lower back so herniated disc couldn't get out of bed so I called Throckmorton uh, Sergeant Throckmorton called uh, Morris they said I didn't have to show up. Just send over the x-rays. So I sent them an x-ray, bulging disc. Uh, x-rays were taken at Miami, in Miami, Florida at All Pro Orthopedics. All Pro Orthopedics, you can talk to them in uh, Miami, Florida. All Pro Orthopedics. 
So I got my x-rays. It's a uh, pretty severe bulging disc. Uh, so I couldn't, I couldn't get out of bed. Or any disc injuries are, are pretty, uh, pretty severe injuries. So I sent them the x-rays, magically discharged. All pro orthopedics, very professional. Took the x-rays, um, trying to help me out. I got, yeah, physical therapist was helping me uh, with the exercises. Physical therapist in Miami, Florida. She was, she was very nice. But yeah, struggling with injuries. So the yeah, actually showed hernia disc, same injury Tiger Woods had, uh, Dwight Howard. Uh, like Clay Thompson, he had an injury recently. Couldn't play for a couple of years. Tiger Woods, uh, Dwight Howard, they, they've had hernia disc. Yeah, you can't, can't play on a hernia disc as well. Don't be third world. Uh, U.S. Army, they, uh, they pimp the third world around about twice as easily as the first world. Um, so they're like indigenous animals and they throw up into uh, Colombia, Honduras, uh, Venezuela. So they just tell all the animals in the environment what to do. And it's like a gay play. Um, it's a gay play. They just tell all the, the millions of people in the environment what to say and how to act. And it's just a gay play. Uh, less advanced civilizations, third world. Uh, Venezuela, they're, they're a very corrupt country. They're like um, 187 out of 190 on the corruption index. So they're one of the most corrupt countries in the world. And they're just very not advanced at all. They're very indigenous. And they're armed big. The big and powerful U.S. Army just still uh, pimps the environment and tells them what to do. Their world repeats everything the U.S. tells them to say. Honduras and Honduras. Colombia. It's right next to Venezuela. Job interviews here, personal training positions. Job interview tomorrow. I was making around uh, 75,000 a year. I decided to move to Europe, just to move to a different country and uh, live there for a while and just do business in, in your European country. I was making uh, $43 an hour at financial institutions in the U.S. I was just going to move to Europe for a while and practice business over there. And right after I got my passport, uh, the U.S., the entire U.S. decided to take me on. It's not here from the, uh, the bad, bad side of the U.S.
I would play today, uh, basketball, uh, I'd work out, exercise, but I have to take another day off for injuries. Uh, a little too injured right now. So I have these injuries, uh, I'm going to take one more day off, because I can't take more than three days off at a time. Three days off and I have to do something at the gym. I took two days off, yesterday and the day before. Too injured to exercise today.
You're a song, the, it's like the uh, Jerry Springer show. I can respect the Jerry Springer show more than the U.S. Army, because the U.S. Army is supposed to have, uh, the U.S. Army is supposed to be more professional, they're supposed to have more uh, ethics and values. Uh, so the U.S. Army is like the, the Jerry Springer show. Uh, but I can respect the Jerry Springer show more than the U.S. Army. You know, some I mean, they have no ethics, values, or morals. They're just uh, gay rape 24 hours a day. I respect U.S. Army. I start with Asia. They, they nuclear missile the U.S. 50 times, then everyone in the U.S. dies because they're gay little cocksuckers. Yeah. 